to all of you for being with us today. Um, and Mr. Wolf, um, as you know, our home state of Washington is the most trade dependent state in the country. We're the gateway to some of the fastest growing markets in Asia, um, and 40% of our jobs are tied to trade. In an increasingly interconnected world, my constituents rely on open markets, whether that's selling berries and agricultural products overseas, being able to buy fresh, local, or fresh healthy produce in grocery stores year round, or access to affordable technologies like computers and smartphones that enable our students, our researchers, and our entrepreneurs to innovate. But the impact of trade on our region extends well beyond our state. Many agricultural products from across the country, including wheat, corn, and soybeans, make their way to China and other Asian countries through our ports. And on the other side, billions of dollars of imports headed to other parts of the country come through SeaTac and the ports of Seattle and Tacoma. Um, Mr. Wolf, you touched on this in your opening testimony, but could you please expand on the economic impact of these tariffs, uh, the economic impact they could have on Washington State, and also on how many jobs in our region could be affected by a slowdown in economic activity due to tariffs? Thank you. As you mentioned, some 40 percent of the jobs in the state of Washington are, are tied to trade. And we, we've talked about manufacturing jobs, and certainly manufacturing jobs are critically important to our economy, yet those aren't the only jobs that are important to our economy. Trade creates a tremendous amount of valuable jobs, not only for the state of Washington, but for all of the United States. I'm talking about jobs like uh, the longshore jobs on the working waterfront, um, the truck drivers that service our gateway the railroads that service our gateway, the warehouse distribution companies, and certainly the exporters that uh, provide those goods to foreign markets. So if we take unilateral approach to trade policy where we are lobbying back and forth with our trading partner China, we run the risk of uh, damaging those valuable jobs, not just in the state of Washington, but throughout the United States. I would say the impact just in the state of Washington um, could be tens of thousands of jobs if we enter into a trade war with China, because uh, China is our most trade dependent uh, partner in the state of Washington. So it would have a huge impact on the economy in the state of Washington, I believe, throughout the United States. Um, given supply chain disruptions um, and just uncertainty for businesses, we know that that can cause people to lose long-term contracts. Um, we also know that it's, you can lose business quickly. It's hard to get that business back. Um, between these tariffs, um, the fact that Canada is participating in trade agreements in Asia and with the European Union, are you worried about trade being diverted to Canada and the port of Vancouver? Um, and how would that hurt the long-term competitiveness of the ports of Seattle and Tacoma and SeaTac? Thank you for that question. Certainly, as we're situated geographically in close proximity to the Canadian Gateway, we are seeing more and more trade um, move through the Canadian ports rather than using our gateway. There are a number of reasons for that, um, one of which is the um, potential risk of uh, these tariffs on trade and the uncertainty that it creates for business. I was visiting with one of our valued export customers just recently, a fruit grower in eastern Washington, and they shared with me that although there still is uncertainty about the impact of trade, um, they are looking at those uh, other gateways, including the Vancouver, BC gateway, as an alternative gateway for their exports as a result of the discussion around um, trade disruption in the, in the state of Washington and nationally. So, um, it, it's hard for me to uh, measure the impact today, yet that uncertainty is creating question for the business community in our backyard and the potential of job loss. And do you agree that if you lose that business, it'll be a lot harder to get it back? Absolutely. We've seen examples of where our customers have lost um, market share globally, and, um, and then we resolve whatever the issue was. I, I think even as an example with the disruption on the West Coast between the employers and our labor partners a few years ago, there was a shift in the trade lanes as a result of that, and some of that market share you never get back. And so there is certainly risk there. Thank you. I yield back, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, Mr. Meehan.